Yo, what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox and I just wanted to put this quick video out here. I'm on the road right now, but I feel like I keep seeing the same question asked all the time on social media and stuff. And it's a real, I think a quick, simple answer. You know, it's what's the best like FPS monitor or system monitor overlay for your PC. So you hear a lot of MSI afterburners and stuff like that. I personally use FPS monitor but you do have to pay for that. But I do think if you want to talk about what's the best one that you can use for your computer, I just want to make this video. I think the best one you have is the one that you already got. So I just wanted to show you guys what that is. Hopefully help some of you guys out there without having to go out and waste your time and spend a bunch of extra money. So the one you got is the one that Windows comes with. So if you jump on your computer and you hit the Windows button plus G, You'll pop up with this like Xbox game bar overview kind of thing. And right down here in the bottom left corner where it says performance, you can see all your system stats right there. Um, if you don't see that, I believe this little button right here, performance, will populate that. But what's cool about this one in particular is you can just pin it to your computer and you can just have it on all the time, whether you're gaming, whatever it is. So if you just hit this little pin button right here, it'll pin it to your computer screen. And then when you exit this, it's just always right here on your screen. So hit that Windows G button, it'll pop back up and then you can move this to wherever you want it. So you can put it like right here, escape, and then you always have it showing. So it when it you start the first time, it'll show CPU, GPU, and RAM usage, but this FPS will be blank and it'll give you like a little thing down here. It'll say like, if you want to use F FPS or whatever, you have to click this button, just click it and then restart your computer. And then the FPS will populate right there. And then also, I'm not seeing it down here, but should give you this little, maybe that's, yeah. You see this little arrow right here. If you click that, it'll shrink it down. So then you're just getting the straight numbers which is really nice if you're gaming and you just want to see what you got without it being terribly obtrusive. But why this is nice is like I said, it's something that Windows has already built in to their software. So you don't need to go looking around elsewhere for something because you already got one. Now it's, I find it to be very nice. So we'll jump in here to a game just to see what it looks like. All right. So there we are. You can see us. We're up here in Smite, and again, you got the simple little Windows overlay. So I'm not going to jump into a game right now, but as you can see, that works. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I would say if you're unsure of what kind of FPS monitor or overlay to use, give this one a try first. It's free. You already have it, unless you're like a Linux user, but you already have it, so that means it's simple to use. And I believe you can even go in here. Let's see if we can find this. Uh, yeah, so if you click on this little three line, the performance options here, you can go in and change your colors, the different things that it monitors. I mean, it's not gonna be super in depth, but I think it'll give you what you need. So give this one a try. Uh, if you find this useful or helpful, please go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly appreciate it. All right. God bless.